What's up YouTube? I'm back again today with another video. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to dominate Navy boot camp. Y'all get ready. Uh, so the thing is about boot camp is there's always something new every day that you learn. And the best way I figured to uh, not get in trouble and kind of stay in the shadows, but also stand out as a good recruit is to listen to instructions and to everything they tell you to do and don't do anything unless you know they say to do it. Another thing you can do is uh, whenever in your off time, actually study, 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 study. Yeah, you can make friends and things like that while you're there at boot camp. But the main thing you're there to do is go learn about the Navy and graduate. So just study, because you're gonna have three tests in boot camp, so you need to study, study, study. Make sure you pass them tests, because if not, you can get asthma, which means you'll be set back. And then um, look clean and shaven every day. Uh, you know, don't come out waking up out of your rack looking rough. You know, make sure you shave, brush your teeth. If you have to, do it at night after the RDCs season leave. If you're not a person that grows a lot of facial hair like myself, you can, you can shave at night and then usually it lasts through the next day. <clears throat> and you can just keep shaving at night. So look clean, squared away. That's another thing is to be squared away have everything in your rack squared away perfectly. Do not sit there and you know just toss your stuff in your rack and let it just look cluttered up because you have inspections, you can have random inspections and they, they will see that and it, it doesn't look good. Um, so you can get in a lot of trouble for that. They'll drop you right there on the spot for having a cluttered rack. And um, just don't mess up. Don't mess up in boot camp. Don't be one of those guys that wants to talk back to the RDC. Don't be one of those guys that has a messed up rack or anything like that. And uh, so if you just keep your rack squared away, keep yourself squared away, your uniform looking nice, boots shined all the time, and a clean shave, you know, brush your teeth, get your hair cut whenever you're supposed to get your hair cut, and um, listen to instructions. And another big thing is to be physically fit before getting to boot camp. If you're out of shape and you know you need to condition and you're weak on push-ups and stuff like that, do it before you get to boot camp because if you don't do it before you get to boot camp, they will attack you. They will attack you and you alone and then once they start attacking you, everybody else eventually gets dropped. So be physically fit and that is a big part of boot camp because you're gonna do a lot of push-ups, a lot of running, and a lot of sit-ups and a lot of in-between. So make sure you're fit. I cannot stress that enough. Be fit. Um, so do your push-ups, run, sit-ups every day, and you should be good. Don't get there and not be able to run a mile, you know, or not be able to do 10 push-ups, because good lord, can't do 10 push-ups, you shouldn't be joining the military anyways. But, uh, so like I said, don't mess up. Keep your stuff squared away, keep yourself squared away. Be physically fit and listen to instructions and don't do anything until they say to do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it some thumbs up, show me some support, share this video for anybody that wants to know what, you know, to be prepared for boot camp and things like that. So I hope y'all enjoyed it and y'all have a great day.